All right, you guys, we just got back from a successful shopping mission. Successful because I managed to keep it all under 100 bucks. I got right up to $98, I think. Got my veggies, a couple loaves of potato. We're not doing keto anymore. Well, I might try that later. Right now, I just want to eat my food. Though, keto is pretty awesome. It helped me discover some new meals to make and the beauty of red meat and all the different all the different stuff. This is actually some pork shoulder thawing out. I froze it because I didn't think I'd eat it in time because I was sick for so long. And my appetite was just gone. But I tell you what, I don't think I would have recovered so fast after that flu and cold combo if it weren't for some thick slabs of red meat and bacon. That was the first thing I had to eat when I got better was, uh, or when my appetite came back was some pork shoulder. So that's thawing out from a previous shopping trip. We're gonna eat that here for dinner, maybe. I'm really craving my burritos. We got burrito shells. Yeah, like I said, I might try keto again at some point, but right now, uh, I'm trying to get my stuff fixed and get out of here. And keto definitely makes you feel, uh, definitely gets some kind of a change up going on. I felt the keto flu, but then I got the actual flu, and so that kind of threw me off, but it wasn't too bad. It was, uh, you did have cravings for bread, and it was uh, definitely a shift in how you felt. I felt good, though. I wouldn't mind trying it again. Uh, but for right now, I'm just going to, you know, if I want to get healthier, I'm just going to go out for some more exercise. I love hiking. It's like my new favorite thing right now, thanks to these woods. It's hiking and exploring the forest and seeing what I find. Oh, uh, yeah, so I got some more red meat. We got some, I'm still am not really sure what I like. We got brown ground beef. Uh, this one says carne molida de res. This is the same thing, but Carlina molina de res, comma de paleta. So we got ground beef and ground beef chuck. I don't know if that's what the words, the Mexican words are saying underneath there. Anyway, ground beef and ground beef chuck. I guess, I don't know, still, in, yeah, not really sure the difference is switching back and forth, seeing what I like best for my hamburgers. I haven't had, just, I've been eating this ground beef chuck for the past while, so I got a couple of these just plain ground beefs. Um, a couple for the freezer and one for the fridge. Uh, actually, we can put them all in the freezer. These freeze and store quite well. Pork seems to store pretty cool, uh, well in the freezer, um, but that could probably use some vacuum packaging because I could see that causing freezer burn after a while, but it's still very good. All right, so we'll stock up on the hamburger there. We got a good little meat stash. My delicious hamburgs. Um, we got uh, two cans of tuna left. I grabbed two more today. Two bags of coleslaw, a bag of carrots. Got the burrito shells, because I cannot wait to have veggie burritos back. It's just an easy and quick meal. And uh, I like it. Got another pack of this, these bacon ends. The last one I got was a little bit bigger. That was 10 bucks. This was only like $6 and something. Pretty good deal. Uh, you do get a lot of fat pieces in these, but it still seemed like with all those fat pieces, this was uh, this turned out to be totally worth it. So uh, I like these bacon packs. Big old, big old log of bacon. Mm. I like it. I like my bacon. Love my bacon. Feels good with AIDS. Got toilet paper as well. Eight pack. And one of these mega rolls of the. Uh, Brawny. Eggs. Gotta have eggs. Gotta have that protein. Some kale for the burgers. Some broccoli for the burritos. For the veggie wraps. Two packs. Flour tortilla shells. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Clean potatoes. Organic russet potatoes. Yellow. 
cheap, long-lasting meal. We got uncured smoked ham and oven-roasted turkey breast for my veggie burritos. Burrito wraps. Thing of mayonnaise, thing of mustard. There's my tuna. Thing of cheese, uh, some Colby Jack for my hamburgers. And uh, yeah, we are looking great for food supply. Which lasts me a long time. I cannot wait to make a veggie burrito. I use the crap out of the hand sanitizer in the store. I usually don't. But I ain't catching no more bugs. Ugh, that was nasty. Cold flu combo. Uh, I don't think I need to wipe down surfaces of stuff. Let me know if you disagree, but I think the, the cold germs don't last on surfaces too long. So I remember. So I've heard. Potatoes! Yeah, I don't know. Keto's is going to be hard for me without potatoes. I like potatoes. Got a lot of get a lot of energy out of them and it tastes really good cheap easy to make carrots coleslaw cauliflower since that needs to be used up I usually prefer broccoli but that also needs to go get washed rinsed off oh a little garlic salt some ranch Put on some shredded cheddar and some turkey meat. All right, there we go. Some veggie turkey burrito wrap things. Mmm. It's like the best way to eat a salad. Except that you can hold it in your hand and it's portable. All right, dinner time. I'm gonna cook up our two pork shoulders. Um, and we're gonna do it on the barbecue. Makes too much of a mess in the pan and doesn't cook too well since the meat will sometimes curl when it's heating up. We got some black pepper and garlic salt on there. Okay. Finally, barbecue. I don't know why this thing hasn't been working lately. I think it's because the tank was too cold. Brought it in, warmed it up, seemed to start working. Although my propane tank on the RV doesn't ever seem to have that issue, but yeah, I don't know. It hasn't, uh, hasn't, you know, it hasn't even been the coldest winter, so I don't know. Uh, let's see, let's do that. Actually, this winter, this year has been pretty nice. Not too cold. Got a little bit of snow. Perfect weather to cook some meat. My lid. Give that 10 minutes, come back and check on it. Mm, that smells amazing. Cooking smells so much better on the barbecue versus the pan. That looks nice. This thing still doesn't do a very good job of cooking evenly, but probably should put some oil on this grate or something. All right, one turned out perfect. The other got a little bit too much heat, but still not too bad. I think we'll have to perfect the timing and the amount of heat we use for cooking the pork. So, we're gonna eat that up and uh, save one for later. It smells amazing. Yeah, that's pretty good. That is pretty good, but not nearly as good as off the pan. I think I'll keep cooking pork off the pan. It's just a, holds a little more of its flavor and it's a little juicier. It, it still ain't bad. All right, I tried to piece off the other one and that was actually pretty good. First one that's just, just got too much heat. A little, a little overdone. It's all right. A little A1 sauce fixed that. It's too cold to wash the dishes in the hose water.
Tis garbage day. Finally. Trying to burn up some garbage. My can has gotten full. Good day, everybody. I think it's time for a little update on things. Patches are still hanging out here, stand dry. Had a couple people comment, you know, when are you going to start working on the RV again? And they seem to miss the fact that this thing is all bare steel and I don't want to have extra work uh, when the dry weather comes around. So she's wrapped up, tr keeping her dry. So when I unwrap her in summertime, I'll have less rust to, uh, to deal with, hopefully. And it will save me some work. I'm not doing, I'm not working on this in the rain. I'm not welding in the rain. Patches just has to wait. Plus, I got a couple trucks to work on, so. Patches is waiting for dry weather to continue that project. I can't wait. I have the stuff to put the e-brake back on. I have new, I have new brake shoes for the e-brake. And even some brake line stuff. Hopefully, can replace the entire thing. If not, I can just replace the brake shoes and put the old line back in. But I do have stuff to put the axle back on and have, finally, after all these years, a parking brake. Jimmy is running great. I cannot wait to get the freaking tires. $1,100 at Les Schwab for some brand new, really good looking tires. but I will probably end up going to a used tire shop and hopefully do about half that price. Um, I think I could find tires around 200 bucks each. So it'd be $800. I can go, I think I can go as low as a uh, hundred dollars if I find some used tires. So around four to $500 and I can get some new tires for this. So cool when flocks birds cruise by um, I've also been looking on Craigslist I've been finding rims and tires they look kind of shiny maybe help me sell them these rims are pretty rusty in some spots there's paint chipping off there but I guess it's not really necessary to replace these these do look pretty cool and I can repaint them that's on my list actually to uh, take these off and see if I can respray them wonder if these unscrew so I don't have to try and tape up every single little bolt head there those are cool um so yeah probably going to end up at a used tire shop getting some used tires I'm not sure I'd like to get some new tires one way or the other Jimmy is going to make me money I'm either going to sell him or if it doesn't uh, if that he doesn't sell too quick I'm going to use him to go to work and get back to work for a little while go to the temp agencies and Try and figure that out, or maybe I'll find a job around here locally so I don't have to drive all the way back to Washington. Which should, I think, be a good plan if I don't sell them. I am going to be pretty firm on the price. 15000 sounds really fair for this old truck, for this old rare truck, this camper special. Been doing some research. Had one offer. Reno Flames, if you're still interested, shoot me an email. I'll try and remember to send you one. But 15k, if anybody's interested, shoot me an email. I already have one offer, so don't get too excited. 15k firm, that would get that truck out of here. Anything lower than that, I'm just going to keep them and get back to work. I just... It feels really good to finally have a way to get the hell out of here. There's a lot of things I need to do, like... Downsizing my storage unit. I really, really want to get to Montana. I thought I'd be going to... Mon I, kept, I keep switching back and forth between Arizona, Arizona and Montana. But I am set now on Man Montana. It's going to be cold. It's going to be snowy. I spent all winter watching the news or a news channel that covers Montana area. Boy, it gets cold up there. It gets cold and snowy. Although things look thawed out now, so I can survive it. It doesn't, it doesn't seem too bad. I've never dealt with sub-zero temperatures before, but... Well, we got many diesel heaters to keep me busy installing them and keep me warm so I think I should be good for the cold Montana feels 
like home to me. There's st we still got the trees. That's another thing. Arizona would have been hard for me to go to just from the lack of trees and rain. I can't, you know, it sucks enough that I have to leave the Pacific Northwest forest that I'm so familiar with. And But Montana has Yellowstone and I'm sure some other amazing parks and trees that I can go make new tree friends. I have really, in, really enjoyed my time down in the forest, just walking around and getting exercise and very therapeutic hiking. I love hiking. And I have done a mega vlog about that. I don't know when I'll ever get to editing it because I've recorded it over the period of the whole year that I've been here. Um, just kind of walking trails and talking about things. It'll be a boring vlog, but maybe I'll put that on a second channel or something if, if it's too boring. But uh, yeah, I will miss these trees. They're just... Arizona would be too much of a too much of a change up. It'd be too hot. I don't know. We'll probably still get land down there just because it's the only place I can feasibly buy my own land. So we'll start with Montana RV parks and Walmart's. I'll, I'll only stay at the RV park long enough to establish a, a residency and uh, get my license. Get familiar with the area. Maybe you can stay there a couple months. I don't know. If I can afford it, I'd love to have a yeah selling the truck or getting to work. Might do both, might use it to get to work for a little while and then sell it, move on to Rusty here. And then we just gotta get try and move up to Montana, get a new storage unit. Like I said, I wanna use the truck to downsize my st storage unit a little bit. I've already thrown a bunch of stuff away, burned a bunch of stuff that was burnable. I mean, I guess no matter what, I'm, my move is going to involve getting a U-Haul and just hauling my stuff all out to Montana. But then I got a little juggling act to do to come back and get the RV, or vice versa, drive the RV up there, get a U-Haul, oh yeah, that's probably what I'd have to do, get a U-Haul in Montana, drive back to Washington, get my stuff, and then come back to Montana. Get up to Montana, eventually get my stuff up there, I guess I don't have to rush that, get familiar with it, it's a big state, I've been, yeah, watching the news up there, feels good to have the truck, I wish I had the tires, if anybody wants to pitch in, just throwing it out there. Got uh, maybe a couple hundred saved up so far. A couple hundred more and some new tires and get back on the road. And we start, uh, we'll start doing some more driving vlogs. Do some shopping vlogs. So let me know. Emails in the about section of my homepage. Got to use a little capture thing or whatever just so I don't get a bunch of bots spamming my email. Makes it hard to respond to everybody. And that would help out a ton. Help get move on to Rusty. We'll have a little extra money for patches, though she doesn't need too much at this point. I don't think all the major expenses are have been paid. Steel and welding supplies. Still got some welding left to do, but should have everything I need to finish her out as far as the walls on the exterior. There's still the interior, so yeah. That would be a huge help to sell the truck. Or we'll get some tires and get mobile again. If I had nice tires right now, I'd be probably in town looking for work. Because it's hard to do, you know. I need to get back to work for a little bit to fund the Montana trip. Because that would obviously take a little bit of money getting up there. Also need a little more money to finish patches, probably. And of course, I have not forgotten about the fundraiser, which we started to try and help Class A Living uh, find uh, ourselves a, a home base and a place to work on things and a place to film and make videos. Uh, it's really important for the channel. But as you guys saw, we did not make our goal, so I've had to deviate from the plan just a little bit. And our time scale was greatly reduced by the black mold. So we have a, uh, a mutated mission here from the original goal. I do apologize for anybody who, who was looking forward to the original plan. Though, like I said, we did not make our goal and I've had to adapt. So, it is now a Montana mission first, and then we will look for that property later. It may not even be property anymore, I might just look for a, a small rental or anywhere I can find that will suit our purposes. But more than likely it will be a cheap owner financed land out somewhere like Arizona. Either way, there's lots coming up, so stay tuned everybody. We're on a mission to get to Montana, get some things sold, or at least get the tires replaced so go work. But anyway, stay tuned. Lots coming up. Bye-bye.